I think they're gonna check. Ooh, who did that? You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today was supposed to be like a room makeover but we just haven't even been able to think about it yet. Um, so I put a little poll on Instagram and you chose to do a what I eat in a day video. Um, I will say for those of you that are new here, Chris and I are on, what is this, week three? Week three of E2M. I just, and I, I just do the workout challenge. Yeah, we're doing a workout challenge. We just got finished doing our workout so I'm all sweaty and everything right now. Um, but I am going to insert what I had for breakfast right here. Okay, so we are only allowed to have black coffee because this is dairy-free. Um, like this whole meal plan is a dairy-free meal plan. So stick with us here and use your imagination. You can always add dairy to where you see fit. But this um, stock, I think is how you say it, coffee. I always want to say stoke or stock. I don't know. What, how do you guys say it? I don't even know how you'll be able to comment with how you say it but we always have that black because it just has the best flavor um, and then I'm going to boil some water here and have my oatmeal so being a breastfeeding mom you're allowed to have oatmeal which is really nice that they have a breastfeeding like program also this is not sponsored in any way I paid for this program and it's been amazing so anyway I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of brewer's yeast and some peanut butter and a banana so the brewer's yeast, I had a couple people say it's not gluten-free. The one that I order is from Amazon. It's the Anthony's brand and it says gluten-free right on the front. So if you are gluten-free, um, you know, that's a brand to consider. So I just mix all this up and I'm just going to have this for breakfast along with my iced coffee. Um, it winds up being delicious once you get used to it, but if you ever try brewer's yeast, you know, like it's just not a good flavor. And also, just to let you know about brewer's yeast, that is added to help milk production because anytime like you're exercising hard or you're cutting carbs or sugars, my personal story is that my supply dips a lot. So, so far so good with my supply. I've been pretty lucky. So anyway, that is the oatmeal story. Now we are moving on to lunch. I will say um, on this program, I'm allowed to eat a little bit more since I am breastfeeding, um, but the results have been amazing. I've gotten so much stronger. When I first started, I could barely do a push-up. Now I'm doing much better. Um, and I just see my body changing, but more than that, I talked about this before, I feel mentally so much better. Um, but anyway, for lunch, I went ahead and made this yesterday and had this for dinner. So that's kind of been what I've been doing is like, if I'm making something, I try to make a little bit more so that I have something for the next day. Because life has been so busy with school and soccer, um, I just feel like I haven't had like a full day to prep yet. We've also, I think this week will be the first week that Carter goes to school for a full week and that Ellen and Tanner go for their full three days. Uh, so I feel like once we're on a better routine, when I know that I have time, I'll be able to meal prep more. So anyway, I'm gonna insert the footage here of cooking those egg roll bowls while I go ahead and warm that up. All right, so here I am just making some ground turkey. Um, I've been loving the Flavor God seasonings. A lot of them don't have added sugar, which is why I like them. Some of them do, so you do have to just read the label, which you should be doing with everything in your life. <laughs> honest to God. It's like the best advice I could ever give you. So just did that garlic lovers blend on some turkey. I got a bag of coleslaw mix and just warmed it up with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then just mixed it all together. So seriously, so fast and so easy. Our grocery bill since doing this has been a little bit higher, but you know what? We're not spending $10 a day on Starbucks anymore for coffees. We're not ordering takeout all the time. That's one of the things that I actually really enjoy about this, I'm also adding a little bit of ginger here as well. I don't like a lot of ginger, I like a little bit of ginger, not too much ginger. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been loving doing this. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm still allowed a fat with this. I could have more veggies too, but I'm not really feeling more. This is like enough for me. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my fat yet. Usually I want something sweet after my meal, so I just do like a little bit of peanut butter. So we'll see. So you have to drink two of these a day to drink a gallon of water a day. One of the hardest parts about this is like your kid's food. You don't realize like how much you just like pick. Also like Evie's having, Evie and Elle are gonna have quesadillas. I love 
anything with quesadilla, taco, all that stuff. Don't mind, the kids are eating at the little table right now. Um, and Chris, what are you gonna have for lunch? Chris isn't a fan of the egg roll bowl, but he's never really liked cabbage or coleslaw or anything like that, so I'm not surprised. But this Sunday, I'm supposed to have like a cozy crock pot meal video, but now I'm not really like eating that kind of food during this eight weeks, so I'm not sure what to do. Like I love making these healthy recipes. Let me know if you want to see these healthy recipes, or I could just put like a video together of my old crock pot meal. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Guys, I have makeup on now because I had to take a picture for Instagram and then I immediately put my other clothes back on. I know, it's just, it's just mom life. But, but I just got in a new order from Amazon of my supplements that made me think of that I never told you guys, even though most of you already know, I have thyroid disease, so I take um, Synthroid in the morning. And then um, the supplements I take morning and night. So I put that all in my last What I Eat in a Day video, so I'll link that down below so that I don't like bore you with that, but I'm really excited because I told you, you know, we can have peanut butter on this meal plan. So I found these on Amazon and I'm going to stuff them with some peanut butter and some cinnamon. I might put some crushed cashews on top, but then we'll put them in the freezer and that'll be like a really yummy, healthy treat. But right now I'm about to have another coffee, which is just that Stoke, I think is how you say it, iced coffee. Like I said, the reason why that one is the best is just because it just has like a really good flavor to it. It's not like super bitter. Um, also, I need to get more eyebrow pencil. So if you're wondering why I look different, because I ran out of eyebrow pencil. Um, but what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, so I'm just having a second iced coffee as I go to the post office and mail some oil stuff. But anyway, when we get back home, um, I'm going to try a new recipe for dinner that I've been seeing a lot of people rave about. Um, it's just like a low carb, yummy recipe. So. That'll be next. Also, I tried this yesterday and it's delicious, so I'm just gonna grab one for when I'm done my coffee. It's black cherry vanilla seltzer water. These other flavors are really good too. So I made myself a little snack before we go ahead and start cooking multiple dinners for this evening. It's really good, super simple. Avocado, lime juice, and uh, cilantro and some everything seasoning. So somebody commented that I always have um, the best avocados, and that's because I leave them out, and then when I feel like they're getting a little bit soft, I immediately put them in the fridge, otherwise they will go bad. Also, Ever since I found these little cucumbers, I know it sounds silly, but I didn't grow up with these mini cucumbers. I don't know if you did. I didn't. We had pickles, but I don't even think I knew like mini cucumbers existed, which clearly is a pickle. Anyway, I love these now, and I don't ever like buy the big ones anywhere because I just like these tiny ones. So whenever they have them available, that's what I use. And this snack was delicious. I know there's like half the world loves cilantro and half the world hates it, and I'm just obsessed with cilantro and like fresh herbs in general. And then adding the lime juice just like took this to another level. So uh, side note, because I know like this isn't everybody's jam, like not everybody loves eating super clean like this and you know, you wanna live a little and all of that. Again, this is an eight week challenge and then I hope to take away big pieces like this. But the coach said the other day that it's hard eating healthy and working out, but it's harder being unhealthy self-conscious and not being around for your family and that just really like stuck with me. So before I get on to our meal, I'm actually going to make the kids some chicken noodle soup. I just have some, stop eating it all. You need it for the soup. I need Oh my gosh. I don't know where they come from. Actually, Chris is the same way with me. I'm not that way. Um, anyway. We're just using some rotisserie chicken, what's left of it, because they all like to just come eat chicken. Um, I'm just doing some rotisserie chicken, onion, garlic, celery, and carrots. I'm gonna go chop that up and show you how incredibly easy this is to make. And then I'll start, I have everything ready for um, some meatballs that I'm making, as well as a lasagna.
Alright, so I'm getting all those veggies ready. You saw me cut a little piece of carrot and put it down. That's because my rookie, he loves carrots. He is a Yorkie poo and he's just getting old, you guys. It's been really hard lately. Um, I keep taking him to the vet because he's slowing down a lot and I got him like um, these treats that are good for his joints and everything and the vet keeps saying he's fine. They gave him like a, I guess like an anti-inflammatory pill to take and he's not really changing a lot but ever since everything happened with Romeo I've been like just extra careful and sensitive so I, at this point I'm not really sure what to do like he's having trouble like going down um, stairs and stuff I don't know if you guys have any re recommendations on what to give him like I said I did bring him to the vet three times recently and they keep saying that he's fine and to just kind of like massage his legs, which I have been doing, and to, um, you know, give him that steroid and the treat. So I'm doing everything we can, but I still just like hate it seeing him slow down. But anyway, this is about chicken noodle soup. I'm sorry, I just wanted to throw that in there. Okay, everything is nice and chopped up besides the chicken, but I'm not gonna throw that in until last minute anyway, just to kind of warm it up. And start with our onion and our carrots, and then I'm gonna add in, once they're a little bit softer, our celery and garlic. You don't want the garlic to get in first because it will burn and it'll make everything taste bad. So you can see the onions are caramelized. I'm gonna add my celery in. Now I'm gonna add in my garlic. Next I'm just gonna add two of these chicken broths. They are 32 ounces. Right now we are adding the chicken that is starting to boil a little bit and then once it comes to a full boil I will add the kids wanted um, bow tie pasta. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Bow tie pasta. This is the pasta we're using. I forgot to refill this canister. So here it is. This is Jovial, it's my favorite brand. It's made out of brown rice and it holds up really well. It doesn't get soggy and yucky. So I'm just gonna add an entire box. Also, please enjoy this relaxing music while my house is so loud and chaotic. So next I'm getting started on our lasagna. Oh, I hope that camera doesn't fall off the tea kettle. A little shaky. So I have some zucchini here. I'm gonna, I don't have a mandolin, so I'm just gonna use a peeler. My friend Jenny taught me that, the one who got me on this program. Um, and then I'm going to make cashew cheese. If you would have told me when I started this two weeks ago that I would like cashew cheese, I would laugh and think you're crazy, but it's actually so delicious. Sorry, it's loud because all the kids are home. So uh, we're gonna use one cup of cashews and water, and I'm gonna boil them for about 12 minutes. I just wanna get them like a little bit softer. And then I'll show you what's next. Coming! Oh, oh.
Cheese are starting to boil. I turned that off and nobody told me that this was gonna take 15 and a half years. I'm horrified of mandolins. They just scare me completely, which is why even it took me so long to get an Instant Pot because, um, what are they called? Pressure cookers scare the life. It's just a dog ball. Um, pressure cookers scare the um, heck out of me. Sorry to be a PC. Um, I'm just letting these all cool off now. And then I will serve the children their dinner. But in the meantime, I'm going to be here until my hands fall off. Okay, that is done, finally, 15 years later. I have the cashews in here. I'm gonna make that in a second. And then I'm going to blend all of this up with some seasonings. This will be our sauce. This will be our cheese. I know it sounds crazy, but I know it's also gonna be delicious. Okay, so we're doing a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. There's that. Can, I, can you just add a little celery? A half a teaspoon of onion powder. A little bit of red pepper flake, so like a pinch. Salt and pepper. So you saw I drained out the cashews. I'm adding some salt and pepper. I added one cup of water. And then I'm also just gonna add a little bit more garlic powder and um, some onion powder. And then you'll see like after I mix it up, this is the first time I didn't use, you can use a half of a lime or a half of a lemon for their juices. I didn't use it, I tried it, and I really was missing that flavor that it gives it, so I did wind up adding it. Usually I add lime, I didn't this time, so I am just gonna add a little bit more. Lime, you can use lemon too. I'm missing the lime in this one. In the past I made it with real garlic and lime. This time I just did powder, but I definitely want that in there. So well. I just did ground chicken. I thought I had ground turkey, but it's fine. Same difference in our opinion. I did some garlic lover seasoning on that, and now I'm adding in our roasted red pepper sauce that you saw me blend up and just add back into this jar. That's all mixed in. I'm preheating the oven to 375. Smelled some tacos cooking. Realizes are in here from yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and toss those. Gonna go ahead and layer this up now, starting with sauce. Also, don't take this layering technique for me. I'm just doing sauce on the bottom, and then I forgot what layers I was on, so I was just adding stuff all over the place, but it all tasted delicious and exactly the same, and it all winds up in the same place, if you ask me. All right, use your imagination. <laughs> it's gonna be good, I know it. Um, so I'm putting this in the oven on 375. Okay, so while the lasagna is cooling off, because as you saw, it's very hot, I'm just quickly doing our little peanut butter cups. So I'm gonna leave the sound on because Ella was just too cute not to. She was trying everything not to go to bed. So that's what this is. Okay, I hit record on this. Let me see. 
Well, but no, right, nope, it's already recording, so can you hold it? I wanna make sure both of these are in, in here, okay? Okay. Thank you. Got it? Yeah. You filming me so good? Yeah. Thank you. What do you think people are gonna think about these? Uh, I think they're gonna say, ooh, who did that? You think so? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good, good, good supporter. You're so funny. You are so funny. Daddy. Do you want me to make some with sun butter for you? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Nice job. Got ya. <laughs> All right, so they're all done. We're gonna put them in the freezer now. Yeah, we put them. Ella made that one. That's for people who really like cinnamon, right? That's why I didn't put, get one in the freezer. Okay. And you put that one in the freezer. All right, freezer. let's do it. And we did some sun butter ones. You can see the colors yeah. are different, right? Here, Chris, get in here. Okay. I want, to, I want to get your reaction to my cheese loving hubby. Sure about that? My dad. I like it. That's good. My dad's so good. That's right? good. Does it have a little buffalo There's in there? chicken. No, it smelled the, uh, the peppers. Yeah. smelled like buffalo to me. They must mm. like roasted it. Roasted peppers. Ella likes it too. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like it where you're just trying not to go to sleep? It might be like because it. I'm so deprived, but. And I'm tired of not going to sleep. Oh, at least you're honest. Okay, it was worth all the hassle. Got you made it ahead of time, you know, not in the middle of doing your nighttime routine with your kids. It'd be better. Be careful, honey. I don't want you to fall. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> You want more? Yeah. Yeah? So you must actually like it. All right, that lasagna was 10 out of 10. Now, I was gonna say we put the kids down, but they woke up like 15 times already, so Chris just went back up for one of them. It's 8.41, which is really late for us, but I'm gonna make um, these meatballs now. So for our meatballs, I have one and a half cups of mushrooms, and these are the mushrooms that I used. And then some carrots, I didn't measure those. So I'm just gonna pulse that together and then mix it with the rest of our chicken. This is the other half of the chicken um, that we didn't use for our lasagna. I can't believe how good that was. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm deprived or what, but it was delicious. I'm my air fryer heating up. I'm doing some salt on this. Also gonna do some pepper. And then it says, um, you know, it's a Hidden Valley ranch, but I'm using a different one. Again, if you're doing E2M, I don't know if this is 100% compliant, but a lot of people posted this recipe in the group, so don't follow me, follow your coaches and everything. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and then some, um, Frank's Red Hot. Okay, so the first batch is done. They look amazing and they smell really good. So I'm gonna do the second batch. Alright you guys, I'm going to end it here. Put my meatballs away now, they're cooled off. 
and I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And again, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you on Sunday. <laughs>